Elon Musk recently presented the SpaceX Starship Gigafactory at Starbase, Texas testing site. Gwen Shotwell, president of SpaceX, has set the audacious goal of producing one rocket daily. The beginning of a new era in which the cosmos is more accessible than ever. What technological marvels are hidden beneath Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship Gigafactory? Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk just revealed SpaceX Starship Gigafactory is finally here. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. What impact will it have on the future of space exploration? The prospect of constructing a rocket daily may appear ridiculous at first glance. When discussing commodities manufactured within a day, most people think of televisions, motorcycles, or vehicles. However, SpaceX, a forerunner in innovation, has upended this concept by establishing an aggressive aim for the Starship project. This audacious goal, aimed at propelling human exploration to the moon, Mars, and beyond, is taking shape at the Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX plans to use advanced production techniques similar to those used successfully at Tesla's Gigafactories over the last three years. The combination of expertise between these two must-owned businesses begs the question of what the SpaceX Starship equivalent of a Tesla Gigafactory would look like. Elon Musk, known for making seemingly outlandish predictions, previously defied skepticism with Tesla's achievement of producing 1 million electric cars each year and is now set to exceed that milestone with an anticipated 2 million automobiles this year. This track record demonstrates Musk's ability to turn lofty goals into attainable goals. This audacious dedication distinguishes SpaceX from typical aerospace corporations, as shown by a direct comparison to NASA's Space Launch System, SLS. The SLS, obtained from numerous manufacturers throughout the United States, generates one rocket yearly at a stunning cost of roughly $4 billion per launch. In contrast, SpaceX anticipates the daily creation of a superior spacecraft, signifying a profound shift in the dynamics of the aerospace industry. Elon Musk's emphasis on the difference between making prototypes and mass-producing finished things is insightful. With each fiery test, SpaceX gets closer to determining the best construction procedures for Starship. In this vital developmental stage, characterized by a desire for maximum production flexibility, SpaceX continues to handcraft Starships, utilizing improvised tents and doing a considerable chunk of their work openly for all to see. This unusual approach is based on the realization that today's processes may rapidly alter tomorrow, necessitating the flexibility to reset and innovate at any given time. Examining SpaceX's existing construction procedures can provide insight into the inner workings of a Starship factory. A succession of vertical assembly structures, including the low bay, mid bay, high bay, and mega bay, have been constructed at Starbase, demonstrating substantial progress in the production process. While the low bay was just demolished, creating a second mega bay has already begun, showing continued progress. These structures are critical hubs for building rocket stages by stacking and welding prefabricated ring pieces. Elon Musk's deliberate choice to gradually extend these assembly buildings over time intends to accommodate more workstations within each bay, allowing many spacecraft and boosters to be assembled simultaneously. Increased automation characterizes the evolving assembly process within these bays. Robotic arms have replaced human hand welding, and the arrival of massive turntable equipment allows the rocket to rotate during production. This innovation eliminates the need for humans or machines to travel from one side of the missile to the other. The turntable, on the other hand, brings the remote side to them. These towering buildings, conceived as large general assembly areas, support the more delicate production processes in lower portions, highlighting SpaceX's commitment to efficiency and scalability as they pave the way for the future of space travel. SpaceX's manufacturing process begins with receiving raw materials, primarily massive rolls of 304L stainless steel. These rolls are cut to length, molded into rings, and welded to make the ships and boosters straight sides. Panels of stamped and stretch formed stainless steel are welded together for curved portions such as the nose cone and interior domes. The three primary tents are dedicated to building the Starship's top, middle, and bottom parts, with distinct duties given to each. 
The first tent concentrates on the lower thrust segment, housing Raptor engines and components related to the lower sections of the ship and booster. The ring sections and domes that comprise the starship's body and fuel tanks are built in the center tent. The third tent is dedicated to nose cone manufacture, which involves welding considerable lengths of stretch-formed stainless steel along vertical lines. Before final assembly, the nose parts are additionally equipped with heat shields. This segmented manufacturing technique enables SpaceX to create essential components of the spacecraft and booster on the ground simultaneously, then bring them together at the megabay for final assembly. The segments are stacked, welded, and finished, including attaching wings and actuators. SpaceX's transformation from tents to a permanent structure as the Star Factory takes shape matches its dedication to innovation and adaptability in advancing space exploration technology. With the initial phase of the Star Factory completed, SpaceX wasted no time in clearing space just behind the tent row. The low bay and propulsion building were demolished, paving the way for Star Factory Phase 2. This extension, which stretches from the inside edge of the manufacturing area to the main road, transforms the Star Factory into an L-shaped structure with an 800-foot long edge. This considerable renovation simplifies manufacturing by combining the factory floor into one continuous space, unlike the previous three separate tents. Compared to the pyramid-shaped tents, the resulting structure provides two to three times the covered floor space and significantly more vertical space. The existing layout of the Star Factory structure, which resembles an L-shape, is intended to evolve into a more or less square form, increasing to around 800 feet by 800 feet. This final arrangement provided nearly five times the total production space initially available when SpaceX began developing the Starship. As the three principal tents are emptied, excitement grows for laying the foundation for the third and final phase of Star Factory development. This massive production space has realized the enormous ambition of constructing one spacecraft daily. SpaceX may work on multiple new rockets simultaneously, using prefabricated pieces to speed up the final assembly process. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.